going to do our hopefully our first ocean entry today I'm a bit excited conditions we've chosen like glass door conditions for our first time and we are we've just prepared the boat put everything away Denver's at helm getting us off our mooring and we'll see how it goes so let's check thrust let's check thrust on our engines before we leave Avoid that mooring over there. Getting pretty close. Got a mooring in the front of us here. So we're just backing up. Boats all around. Thank you. 
started off by sewing the top and bottom section of the dodger that slides into the rails just to make sure that everything goes smoothly before putting the glass in. PVC. So we're fitting our first bit of the dodger. Of course in true Soldana Bay style, whenever we're doing an outside project, the wind picks up. Sewing on a boat is definitely not easy, so we moved up into the conference room at the Yacht Club. After marking off all our pieces and making sure all our measurements were right, we started to cut our rip block. Um, that is the material we used. It's a water resistant and UV resistant fabric but it's also quite plasticky so we used a Dremel tool to help cauterize the ends of the plastic so the threads that were in it wouldn't come out and it made sewing a heck of a lot easier because then you didn't have to hem it and roll the hem to stop the threads from coming out. length zips for the dodger so we are using bigger ones that Tegan's trimming down using our trusty Dremel and just like that you have it perfectly Linked sip. And he's just sitting watching funny videos. So we have our now size zip, and that has to go onto the edge of the window. That section is going to roll up, so we'll go that way. So we've got to put it into a frame and I'll show you how we did that. So we start by this double sided tape, it's more or less stuff. Keeps everything in place. Yeah, and so you don't have to pin anything, you don't have to tack anything. Especially because the ripstop is so waxy and slidey and stuff makes it really difficult to sew. Yeah, it would just be sliding around and coming apart if we weren't able to. That's the back. So to have, keep the inside tidy, we're using this binding. So we try and get everything attached at once so that when we stitch, we're stitching through the whole lot at once. On the other side, we are putting in... So we've cut oh, another piece of ripstop that we've folded over. equal on each side so once it goes onto the plastic you won't see that there is a difference.
and this may look easy but it's taken months of preparation this is a job that i've been putting off and putting off and last night i actually the last time i looked at my watch because i knew we were starting today was 4 a.m and all i've been doing was lying in bed trying to pre-plan all this so that's we do the same on both sides obviously and then this will eventually go on there so we'll show you that stage later on but the glass is going to fit inside that and we finish off like that double-sided taped the zip to the clear glass centre section of the dodger. Doing that side now. I'm going to sew it. <sighs> Hopefully get it done tonight. Doubt it, but we'll try. So we've almost got all our windows in. Doing our last zip. Is it our last zip? On um, the dodger, yeah. <laughs> so back when we were still in Mykonos, we made this temporary dodger and it worked well as a template size-wise. So we've got that underneath and we've just fitted, so this is the top section now. And that's our next sewing to do. So all the zips are in. So this is just the dodger. And then we still have to do the sides and everything else. So next we are doing clips that when we take the Velcro and we want to open the dodger, it will obviously roll up and then strap up to keep it in place for when the weather's hot and we need a little bit of air conditioning. Then you can open a window. So we've got these clips and fasteners that will hold the window up. That's our next task. And that's it for tonight. <laughs> I'm not sure, but we are 5 to 12, 5 to 12, pitch dark outside, can't even see because of our reflections, but it's done, finally. So the Dodger is sliding in through these channels here. There's one on the top and one on the bottom. So it has to be a pretty snug fit to not blow around.
So that corner piece will then fit in to the next panel we have to sew. We've set it up that we've got three openings across the dodger. So the two side pieces are around the same size and then the center piece so that we can decide how much ventilation we want at any given time. And then it's on Velcro. It's on Velcro at the bottom. And the Velcro really stuff. sturdy stuff. And then I'll, I'll fold it out inwards, Golden. And then just fold it up like this. Attachments here. We will adjust the length of them. So you have the option of if you just want the helm area open or you can open the whole section just depending on the weather. So whilst we're very happy with how all this is looking, our next job in the list is getting all this lighting and we, we did it very temporarily when we first moved onto the boat. So now we can get all that in. We finally got the new globes that we've been looking for. That'll go in and get covered up, and we're done with this section. Thank you for watching with us. If you enjoyed our video, please hit subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified when our new videos are out. Please leave a comment or any advice on sailing or dodger making, enclosure making, whatever it may be. We love to hear from you guys.